Imagine a tiny grain of sand, a small irritant, causing something so beautiful that it has captured human fascination for thousands of years. The result? A pearl, one of nature's most precious treasures. But how exactly does a tiny irritation turn into a gem of such elegance? Stay with me. And in the next few minutes, you'll discover the incredible process behind the making of pearls. Welcome. Today, we're diving into the mysterious and awe-inspiring process of how pearls are made. A pearl, often seen as a symbol of beauty and grace, isn't just an accessory. It's the result of a fascinating natural phenomenon that involves time, patience, and the miracle of marine life. Whether you're a jewelry lover, a nature enthusiast, or simply curious, this journey through the making of pearls will surprise and delight you. Pearls have been admired for centuries for their smooth, lustrous beauty, and their creation is as unique as the individual pearls themselves. But how do oysters, clams, or mussels transform an ordinary particle into one of the world's most coveted treasures? Let's break it down step by step. It all begins with a single, small irritant, often a grain of sand. But it could also be a parasite, or even a piece of damaged shell. This tiny intruder makes its way into the soft tissue of an oyster or clam, triggering a defensive reaction. The mollusk, feeling this discomfort, produces a substance called nacre, also known as mother of pearl. This nacre is a combination of minerals and proteins secreted in layers, which gradually coat the irritant to protect the creature. Think of it as a natural defense mechanism. The oyster's reaction to this irritant is much like how we might respond to a thorn in our foot. Instead of rejecting the foreign object, it embraces it layering the irritant with nacre until, over time, it transforms into a smooth, lustrous pearl. As the oyster continues to secrete nacre, the process of layering begins. Every layer of nacre added to the irritant helps to smooth its surface, gradually creating the round shape we associate with pearls. This process can take anywhere from several months to a few years, depending on the size and quality of the pearl being formed. Now. Here's something fascinating. Each oyster's creation is unique. No two pearls are exactly alike, even if they come from the same oyster. The way the layers of nacre are deposited, the type of irritant, and even the oyster's environment all contribute to the final appearance of the pearl. It's almost like nature's own little art project, one that requires patience and time. And just like with any valuable skill, the more time invested, the greater the result. Now, not all pearls are the same. The world of pearls is rich with diversity, with different types and origins. There are saltwater pearls, freshwater pearls, cultured pearls, and natural pearls, each with its own story. Saltwater pearls, such as the famous Akoya pearls, are typically round and smooth, with a brilliant luster. These are formed inside oysters that live in the ocean, where they are carefully harvested. Freshwater pearls, on the other hand, are produced in mussels living in rivers and lakes. These pearls often have a unique irregular shape and come in a variety of colors, from white to lavender to peach. Cultured pearls are man-made, where humans assist in the process by inserting an irritant into the oyster. This speeds up the process, but the resulting pearls are just as beautiful as their natural counterparts. And then we have natural pearls, which are incredibly rare. These are the true wild treasures, formed without human intervention, and they can take up to ten years to mature. They are the stuff of legends, often fetching a high price due to their rarity. The next stage in the journey of a pearl is the harvesting process. Depending on the type of pearl, the oysters are carefully opened, and the pearls are gently removed from the mollusk. In the case of natural pearls, they are often discovered by accident while fishermen are collecting oysters. For cultured pearls, the oysters are intentionally harvested to retrieve the pearls after a few years of growth. At this point, the pearl is often just a beautiful, smooth gem. But it's not the final product yet. Pearls are sometimes cleaned, polished, and sorted based on their color, shape, and size. They may also undergo treatments to enhance their natural luster and appearance. Every pearl is carefully examined to ensure it meets the standards of perfection. From here, pearls are sold to jewelers and designers who will turn them into elegant pieces of jewelry. 
from necklaces to earrings to bracelets. Now, it's essential to understand the economics and rarity of pearls. While cultured pearls are more common, natural pearls are a different story. Natural pearls are exceptionally rare, and their discovery often sends shockwaves through the world of gemology. In fact, the discovery of natural pearls has sparked treasure hunts throughout history, with people diving deep into the oceans and rivers to find them. But the reality is, these treasures are not easily found. It's estimated that fewer than one in 10,000 oysters will produce a natural pearl. That makes them even more valuable. Even within cultured pearls, the price can vary dramatically depending on factors like size, shape, color, and the number of layers of nacre. The finest pearls, such as the South Sea pearls or the Tahitian pearls, can cost thousands of dollars per strand. Beyond their beauty and value, pearls hold a special place in many cultures. In ancient civilizations, they were considered symbols of wisdom, purity, and wealth. Pearls were highly coveted by royalty and nobility, often seen in crowns, necklaces, and crowns of emperors and queens. Even today, pearls are given as gifts to mark special occasions, such as weddings and anniversaries. They are seen as a symbol of lasting beauty and eternal love, qualities that stand the test of time, much like the long process of their creation. Pearls are more than just jewelry. They are an embodiment of nature's ability to create something magnificent from a simple and often overlooked irritant. And much like life, they remind us that beauty can come from adversity. In the end, the creation of a pearl is a beautiful example of nature's patience and persistence. What starts as a small irritant, an annoyance to the oyster, becomes something extraordinary over time. And just like in life, sometimes the discomforts we face can lead to our greatest moments of growth and beauty. So, the next time you gaze upon a pearl, remember its journey. From a tiny grain of sand to one of the most admired gems in the world, it took time, effort, and resilience to become what it is today. A pearl is nature's gift, and its story is a reminder that even the smallest of challenges can lead to the most remarkable rewards. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of pearls, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories about nature's wonders. And remember, just like the oyster, you too have the potential to turn challenges into something beautiful. Stay curious and keep exploring.